Is it necessary to know your native language very well in order to learn any foreign language at an academic level? Hello and welcome to my channel Linguamus. I am continue to answer your questions. I try to not make generalization as they are not always objective. But I want to start answering this question with a counter question. Do you need to have the experience and knowledge of driving an ordinary car in order to drive a F1 prototype at a higher level. That is a Formula 1 car that you have no idea about, about driving it. One of the conditions to make it possible to learn a foreign language at the academic level and to use it in a broader perspective is a deep knowledge of the native language and the ability to express your thoughts freely. Of course, I would like to add that you also need to understand academic and scientific articles and books in your own language. However, what people understand of academic level may differ from person to person. Unfortunately, these days, many societies have begun to suffer from low levels of literacy. By the literacy, I mean the degree of reading, comprehension, perception and use of knowledge, not just traditionally understanding, which means the ability just to read and write. A big pressure, maybe because of weather condition. According to the official statistic, many have difficulties with understanding what they read in their native language. And of course, it means the success and the effectiveness of learning a foreign language for a person who doesn't understand reading even in native language will be very low. To give an example from my personal experience, there were people who came to me with C1 and sometimes even C2 level certificates. But after even a short time of talking, I became witnesses that most of them were one and sometimes more than one level lower than stated on the certificates. Especially regarding the level of the Russian language, almost all were much lower than the indicated level by the certificate. But those who were more or less satisfied with their level, as a rule, were who knew their native language very well. The importance of a good knowledge of your native language becomes even more obvious and vital, especially when you are trying to learn a much more complex and difficult language belonging to a different language group than your native language. Knowing your native language well allows you to especially explain to people about terms and information related to other language that you learn. Otherwise, your native language will become a passive language that has lost its functionality and flexibility becoming inactive. Some people leave comments that despite the fact that they cannot write two pages in their native language, they claim that they can write a book in English. First of all, I would really like to see these books written by them. If there is such a situation, then it is much sadder because those who make such comments don't realize that their native language is no longer the dominant and functional language. This happens especially to people who are born and live 
for a long time abroad. And this phenomenon, I think, should be discussed separately in another time. If we return to our topic, remember, your native language will form the foundation and database of the language you will be learning. You will build other language on it. If you cannot use your mother tongue, mother language, academically, in one of the areas like writing, speaking, and reading, then the other language you are learning will also be academically not sufficient. With a simple formula, as far as you have mastered climbing mountain Ararat, you also have a chance to climb Everest with a performance close to that. I consider one of the important points you should not to miss it is to be able to use the everyday colloquial speech. This is the answer to question in terms of scientific and academic facts. And in no case you rush into the despair. You can improve your native language and also continue the process of learning a foreign language with the same enthusiasm and motivation.